Okay, I'll get ready to capture some video. What I want to do in this section is a uh, record from our Yamaha keyboard. I have a, a Yamaha YPT 220. I'm just going to capture the standard that comes up with it, which is a grand, a grand piano sound. It's a standard mini sound that comes up with it. But I want to capture it to a software called Jazz Plus Plus, which is a freeware on the internet. You can just grab it, download it. Probably not easy download and figure out how to make it work on your system. But it's de definitely well worth the effort to do so. What I wanted to do is record longer than the standard uh, 100 measures. So I figured out a way to increase it presently to about 2,000 measures because of a project that I'm working on. And you can set the tempo and make it read your, your keyboard settings and those kinds of things and what I'm going to do right now is just do my little steps within the uh, uh, jazz program to make that happen basically I open up my little template which is a file folder I call uh, uh, 00 record more plus and then pull up a little cheat sheet that I created for myself which makes all the steps easy because it's not automatic I basically load up the template and I go in and I, I do a save as function so I don't mess it up and uh, well, I'll number this number eight or zero zero eight kind of a deal. Um, that helps set that up and uh, uh, change the M to a T. Done that. Standard clicks for the song. That's already preset. Some other defaults that I already have it set up for, like the metronome, the MIDI timing. I kind of keep that unchecked. Uh, the source clock. I'll use uh, um, the internal source clock, which basically does a sync up with my keyboard to keep everything. I actually record the uh, uh, style modes here with no hands, and I like that, and just changing chords, and it just captures all that in. Since it's XG, I'll select that choice on my settings options, and uh, uh, which keeps track of all of the uh, patch chord changes that are sent which is always good because I usually pull it into Finale once I'm done and I use Finale 2012 and, uh, and I can use the lead start in to set that up, patch change it I've got my speed about 74 let's see how this flows in and uh, um, I'll click my bar I want to record on and make sure it's not checked for channel numbers of all events on many track and I can force it to any channel that I want but I just want to use the channels that are already there so I'll say OK usually give it a name of something like record and uh, um, then go to my keyboard here and select my functions what I want to do is let my computer control it so I'm going to find where it says external clock and it's normally set to off. I'll do a plus sign here and set it to on, which allows my recording device, Jazz Plus Plus, to do my recording. I'll come back there and click start recording. Select the first toolbar first, then hit start recording. Mm -hmm. You can see it's it started my uh, my MIDI clock here on there. I'll click stop on that. And I don't have any standard beat on there. And what I was going to do is just record some garden style music chords and bring it in to keyboard. Matter of fact, I'll start that again. So what I want to do make 
sure it's recording. Hit stop on that. And it is recording. Very good. So what I'll do is clear. Edit. Delete. Do a short little setup again. Looks good. I think on here I'll have a um, synth device, device setting. There is something called a metronome. I think I'll go ahead and turn that on. It's at 120. I think my keyboard likes it better too. Hit record. So, what I want to do, I want to start with a chord. It's going to be E flat major chord with the A in the bass. Sounds like this. Music and it'll be an E save E flat major chord with the F in the bass. And then the same E flat major chord with the D flat in the bass. Then I'll do a D flat major chord with the E flat in the bass. Gotta resolve the turnaround and then do the same thing again. E flat, A flat at the base, F, E flat. And then the D flat. I like that. What I'm gonna do is just kind of use the half steps that I've talked about before. That sound. That's the model of uh, a flat. So any of those notes can work. A flat, E flat over top. F, E flat over top. D flat, E flat over top, D flat, E flat bottom, there's a little move jam, if someone's talking, I usually do it without the rhythm, I'm just recording and I'm trying to lock it into a track. So I can pull it into finale and make a music sheet music. So some of my worship leaders know where I'm going. I'll just provide little snippets so they know the chord movements. Some quattros that I can throw over there. A little quattro thing. Now this quattro is G, and it's a it's a three, so it's G, C, F. So I do that G, C, F, and then I can make any movement within the scale. And the next one I did was. F, B flat, E flat. So listen to. I'm 
doing the same thing with the bass that I did before. A flat, F. This polychord seems to work. that on top. Now that movement was E flat major to F minor. Just in all the different inversions. Just kind of a rhythm feel. So you can feel it back and forth. Here I varied up rhythm. Make it move and breathe. And this is just inversions of E flat that was inversions of D flat major Let's try to slow D flat feel it music because you can do it slow or fast it seems to fit to help set the mood in the temple of the worship flow that's just that a flat major scale in different modal sometimes if you don't start right on the root Shift up to A, F sharp, got that E going on, shift, E flat and bass, F at the top, that's the chord. Time. You flat at the top, 
F on the bottom. And B right now. That's G sharp. E. E over F sharp. B. F sharp. Half step, C, G over C, A, then F over G, G over C, G over A, G over F. F over G again. And the scale I'm using right now, C in this modal configuration. Up. Selecting it and do this miscellaneous track split and sp splits from track 0 to 1 through 16. I like that. They asked me if I'm sure, and I am. So I'll hit it and do it. And basically, it took what I did and I recorded the rhythm track to track 10 
and the piano track it recorded to track nine and all of my notes it rec uh, put it on track one and <clears throat> if I go back to my clock function and turn the external clock off which will keep it from recording and hit replay and because I did not uh, move the style which is something you should do before you select the style if you just move it up and down it will actually send the recorded information to Jazz++ Plus Plus, and you will get that out but I'll pull this over finale and see what it looks like thanks fun hope you had fun